What's up guys? Thanks for coming to Game in Canada with me. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can free up what I like to call ghost data on your Wii U's internal hard drive. Now this ghost data comes from failed game installs directly to your NAND using WUP Installer GX2. This is the main reason it's recommended to install games to a USB and then use data management to move them over to the system NAND afterwards. When I was first soft modding my Wii U, I failed a Breath of the Wild install twice thanks to a faulty Kingston SD card and afterwards even though I had zero games installed, I only had 18 gigs free on my NAND. NAND. On the third try, I successfully installed Breath of the Wild to a USB and moved it over to the system NAND, and this left me with only 2 or 3 gigs free. Having always been baffled by this and never knowing how to fix it, I finally decided yesterday to do a quick Google search and this led me to a fairly recent GBA temp thread, which I will link in the description, where the user Ron Harrison figured out that you can enter the NAND of the Wii U over an FTP client and locate the folder where these installs happen. It turns out the Wii U installs NAND games to a temporary import folder and then moves them into the proper location after the install is successful. If the install fails, this temp folder gets clogged up with partial games data and when you enter data management you won't see any games installed but you'll have no free space. The Wii U might even ask you to delete this data upon entering data management and if you choose yes you might have to hard reset your Wii U as it infinite loops since it can't locate the data and delete it. If you're in a similar situation where you think you should have a lot more data on your Wii U system NAND, then I'm going to show you how you can locate and delete these failed installs. The only thing is be freaking careful. This program we're about to use has the ability to easily brick your Wii U and you will never be able to recover it, so I highly recommend not doing this. This is for advanced users only. If you just happen to delete the wrong folder, your Wii U may never turn on again. And with that massive mouthful, let's get this started. The first thing we need to do is go ahead and launch into the homebrew launcher and you need to download FTPU everywhere. Now you got to make sure you don't have FTPU. Now FTPU only allows you to communicate with your Wii U's SD card whereas FTPU everywhere allows you to communicate with the system NAND. That's why it's a very powerful tool and you can easily break your system. So if you don't have FTPU everywhere, head over to the homebrew app store and download it and once you've got it downloaded, you're gonna have to enter into custom firmware. I'm gonna go ahead and just launch Mocha custom firmware because I'm already in the homebrew launcher, but you could also use HaxChi. After you've loaded into custom firmware, go ahead and launch the homebrew launcher again. Now that you're back in the homebrew launcher, go ahead and launch FTPU everywhere. Now you should see a fairly blank screen on your TV as well as your gamepad. Go ahead and just make note of your IP address. We're going to have to enter it into an FTP client over on our computer. With FTPU everywhere running on my Wii U, I need to go ahead and open an FTP client on the PC. Now you can use FileZilla if you happen to use FileZilla for maybe your 3DS or something like that, but I'm actually going to be using a program called WinSCP. Now WinSCP allows you to create these little icons that connect directly to your system. So I have one for my Wii U. When I click it, it should open up the system and we'll be looking at our NAND in no time. Uh, before I even finish talking, the NAND popped up. We're now going to very carefully navigate to the storage underscore MLC folder. And then we're going to go to USR or user. And then inside of here, you're going to see the folder in question, the import folder. If we go ahead and open up this import folder, you can see I have a crash folder. I'm not too sure what that means. We're going to see how big that is in a second. But up here, you can see this is a game install. Most things that start with 0005 and then followed by four zeros happen to be a game install. So I'm going to open this up. There's the title ID, open it up, and here's everything you would see if you were installing a game with Whoop Installer. So if I go ahead and open up this meta, you can see I'll open up the icontext.tga, and that'll tell us what game it is. So as you can see, it's clearly Breath of the Wild, so this is my failed install for Breath of the Wild. Now we're gonna go up a directory, another one, one more, and then when we're back in the import folder, we're gonna go ahead and click this game and delete it. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the delete button, and cross your fingers, my Wii U is not bricked. You can see FTPU everywhere in the bottom left, just absolutely going to town deleting stuff. This might take a fair amount of time. I'll check back in with you guys in a second. And after a fairly long time, say maybe 5-10 minutes, that entire Breath of the Wild folder is gone. I'm left over with this crash folder and if I open it up, there's nothing inside of it and if I calculate its size, it's zero bytes. So I could probably go ahead and delete it if I needed to, but I'm honestly kind of scared. I'm in the NAND. I'm just going to leave it alone. 
Let's exit out of here, go back into data management on the Wii U, and we'll see how much space we gained. Press the home button to exit out of FTPU everywhere, and then navigate your way back to the home menu, and then open up system settings. Once you're in the system settings, press the R button to go over to data management, and then press right, and then hit A to open up data management. Go to copy, move, and delete data. And oh wow, you can see I now have 23 gigabytes free. That is absolutely awesome. So I got around five gigabytes back. And now I'm tempted to see if I open this, does the Wii U still think I have junk data hidden somewhere on my NAND? So I'll go ahead and hit the A button on it and we're gonna find out. And as you can see, it loaded right into the games. It no longer had that warning about the junk data. So I have 100% fixed the problem. I am so freaking stoked. Thank you so much to Ron Harrison from GBA Temp. If he didn't make that thread, I would have never figured out how to do this. While I'm saying thank yous, shout out to the people that made Swap DRC, which is a homebrew that allows you to swap what's on your TV and on your gamepad. That's the only reason I'm able to show you guys data management. If I press L and select at the same time, this is the screen that you would normally see when filming with a capture card. So to be able to film the gamepad with the capture card is absolutely next level. So I love Swap DRC. I guess that's it. If you guys happen to have any junk data on your Wii U and you managed to delete it using this method and you didn't brick your system, please go down in the comments and let me know. If you happen to like the video, slam that thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And if you haven't subscribed, I don't know what the heck is wrong with you. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.